How do you know if your man is happy? Have you paid enough attention to his mannerisms, befores and afters? Have you done your research? Have you even asked him? Let me rephrase that. Have you asked him without putting him in a position to feel like he needs to lie to keep your mouth from becoming disrespectful or not understanding him? Ladies, if you want to get married, if you want a good relationship, stay tuned. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Say it with me, y'all. We're gonna roll that clip. Or not understanding him. Because a lot of the time, all I hear is, well, I do this, you haven't recognized this, blah, blah, blah. It's okay. I've done it too. I feel like maybe I have given it my all. But I soon realized that maybe that's my problem. I took something about him and I made it about me. Accountability. Next time I needed to try to be a bit more understanding, softer approach, without judgment and without haste to shut him down. To put him in a space of love and sincerity. Hey, I've noticed you've been spending more time at work. You've been a little bit more quiet. You've been playing the game a lot and I miss you. Is there anything that I can do to help you feel more at home, more at peace? See what their response is. Now, I would add one more thing to that list, and it's going to be the same thing that I always talk about. Accountability. A lot of women run from accountability. They don't want it. But it's the very thing that can set you free from being a modern woman is accountability. Yep. Learn that it is your fault that you did make a mistake. See, making a mistake is not an issue. It's not being accountable for that mistake. That is the issue. So when you're in the dating market, ladies, you need to learn how to take accountability. Learn to be a feminine woman. Learn to submit. Submission is not slavery. Other races of women submit to their man. Why are black women the only group of women that do not submit to their man? To their man? But yet you want to get married. You want to have children. You want a family. And a lot of women, they say, well, well, not all women want to have children and have a family. Great. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the ones that are. Haven't you ever noticed that when you're talking about something, fellas, there's always this one person that just says everything and nothing at the same time. They're like, well, you, I'm not, I'm not talking about everybody. It's like, who asked you anyway? Nobody was talking to you. <laughs> Nobody asked you for your biased opinion. We live in a society where nobody cares what a man thinks, but everybody wants a man to do right. They want a man to do right. But in order for a man to do right, you have to be a good woman. Three things you should never say to a boy. Number one, how much money do you have? How much money they make has nothing to do with you, honestly. Like, it's really annoying when people are like, oh, how much money do you make? Oh, well, you don't have enough to support me. You know, I thought we passed those times, those traditional roles of women and men. <laughs> but it also depends on the circumstance as well. Like, if y'all been together for a long time, then okay, yeah, it's cool to talk about money. But when you first start dating, why are you worried about what's in their pockets? Go, bigger! Number two, you're so emotional. I just feel like you shouldn't tell boys they're emotional. I feel like they already go through enough, like literally with society. They're like, oh, boys have to be tough. Boys have to be strong. Mm, no, they don't. 
And just because you're showing your emotions does not mean that you're being soft or emotional. That just means you're being human. And if somebody tells you otherwise, then they're wrong. Number three, you're so short. Not everybody can be green giants. Not everybody can be eight feet tall. And I just feel like as a girl, you are three feet. Why are you trying to date somebody 10 feet? Mm, those numbers don't add up. So how about we be real with ourselves and stop searching for Jack and the Beanstalk? Thank you. And it's also good to see women standing up and saying, you know what? We're doing it wrong. We need to do better. See, the first step on realizing that you need to heal is realizing that you have an issue. Yep. A lot of the times, women will blame men. They will blame men for everything. Oh, my nail broke. A man did it. Oh, my period came on. A man did it. I was late for work. A man did it. <laughs> Women. Ladies, we're tired of being your punching bag and blame everything on us. Stop it. Get some help. When in the sad reality of it is, is that you are to blame because you're doing stuff just like everyone else is, but you don't take accountability versus everybody else does. Because the modern woman runs from accountability just like oil runs from water. The reason why oil and water don't mix is the same reason why accountability and modern women don't mix. You got a bunch of women out here that all want a six-figure man, but nobody is taking accountability for what they did to have children outside of wedlock, have a bad attitude, have fake hair, fake nails, weave and wigs. They want a real man, but we can't even get a real woman. Pow. Oh! How messed up the dating market really is ladies if you want a man follow these five tips i'm gonna give you five tips on how to get and keep a man number one take accountability it's not always his fault number two learn to leave the man be men we want peace if we can't get it at home we will get it outside of the home. Either way, we will get peace. Number three, submit to your man and let him lead. That's a no-brainer, ladies. If you want a man, if you want to get married, you must submit to a man's leadership. There is no way around it. If you don't want to submit, then you might as well not get married. Number four, be his peace. That's number four. Be his peace. Be his everything. Learn to empathize with your man. Learn that you need to be his safe space. When a man fights the world, Every single day, he does not want to come home and be nagged, rebuked, rebuttaled. He just wants peace. Number five, never let a man leave the house hungry or horny, and you will keep a man for life. Men are extremely easy to please. We really are. We don't require much. We just require peace food, and sex. That's it. You give us all three of those, we will be a happy camper. Leave us alone. Let us get laid by you and feed us. That's it. And once you become a great woman, heal ladies. Because all you're doing is making yourself hurt people hurt people. So if you're hurt, and you get into a relationship, all you're going to do 
is hurt your partner and you hurt your partner because you are hurt. Hurt people hurt people. So if you're healed, what's the opposite of hurt? Healed. So healed people attract healed people. So if you, if you're a woman and you're listening to this show and you're wondering why there's a bunch of broken people around you, look at the mirror. You are the reason why there is so many broken people around you because broken people attract broken people. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.